All right, so here we have a review of a 2017 Mustang EcoBoost with performance pack and the 2018 Mustang GT with performance pack. I'm going to try to run through this. I own both of these right now. The GT I just picked up and so I've actually put the um, EcoBoost, Eco SVO as I call it, for sale. Both are great cars. Uh, both are phenomenal in their own right. Um, and as you'll find out, really, the biggest difference is the sound. And the, the performance, the handling is virtually identical handling-wise. Uh, you might even say this EcoBoost handles slightly better because it's got better weight differential or balancing. Um, it's 335 horsepower with a 2.3 liter turbo and this, the GT, is 460 horsepower with a 5 liter V8 um, naturally aspirated. So let's take a look here. Uh, so you can tell from the front from 17 to 18 pretty close um, headlights similar uh, little little differences here and there in, in sort of the lights next to the headlight from the 17 to 18 model and in terms of uh, the slanting the fog lights a little bit different so you've got rounded fog lights on the 17 EcoBoost. Uh, the horse is the same. The grills are slightly different. Um, this one has additional stripes on the hood. No vents on the hood. And I added stripes on the side. And it's got uh, Ford Performance, uh, the mock uh, wheels, and a Ford Performance emblem which is pretty cool so it's got uh, a Ford performance package on it which has the stripes and the wheels the windows I uh, added a tint on these uh, I think the tint is a nice touch got some stripes in the back and um, no wing but a stripe along the back here on the GT has the, the GT wing and this has actually the Roush uh, wheels on it that I added. No tint yet. You can see how you can kind of see through there. And this one much more difficult to see through. I think I will be adding a tint. This of course has the 5 liter uh, badge. And as I mentioned, the heat extractors on the hood, which I think are pretty pretty cool. So looking at the side view of both, going around the back. Now this is the Royal Crimson Red. Dark, almost uh, looks slightly purple. Uh, certainly in the uh, dark it looks almost black. And uh, it's a beautiful color. Um, and this is the Ruby Red, which Truth be told, I would say that's probably my favorite red. It's just a beautiful shining red. I did put the ceramic coat, uh, G Technique, on this. Had that put on the EcoBoost. Uh, it's got a seven-year paint protection package, and it's it's beautiful. It, it holds up incredibly well. Washes down very easy. Um, I may have it done on this one. I haven't done that yet uh, but it certainly I think it's worth while so looking at the interiors uh, similar but not exactly the same so both have leather seating uh, the seat design is a little different from 17 to 18 and we have the gauges here so we got the turbo boost gauge we got the Mustang and you got the two oval um, dash representing like the old style Mustang and you'll see it's slightly different in the GT 
So walking over here to the GT, um, you can see maybe on the camera slightly different kind of design on the seating. And you got the Mustang horse there. And this has sort of the two ovals, but then there's a space in the middle where you can get some different um, modes, which I think is really, really cool. So this one is six speed standard and the EcoBoost is an automatic. It's one of my first Mustang automatics I went with. Uh, I like it, it's convenient, but there is quite nothing like a six-speed automatic, so or a six-speed uh, manual. So let's start her up and see how it sounds. You can kind of hear the sound there. And when we rev it up, that's what you get. Vehicle door ajar, of course. And it's got all the bells and whistles to it. Um, it shows the gas mileage, about 26.7 is what I'm averaging. It's pretty good for a performance car. Surprisingly, the GT does pretty well, though. It, it's around 22 23 so not much of a fall off so the modes uh, you've got some different modes here on the you got your trip mode your fuel economy your fuel history uh, you got your gauge mode and you can do all kinds of uh, get the gauges up there cylinder head air inlet oil temperature, transmission, voltage, air fuel, cylinder head, and then over here is of course the boost gauge. So you get your oil pressure and then you got your boost. Alright, so I'm going to pop the hood and show you underneath. The difference is here. Oop, sorry about that. That's that annoying Ford bump there and so inside it's got the EcoBoost engine I've got some badging Ford performance badging and your turbo is in there and so very clean engine this car's been well taken care of um, beautiful car uh, just a different experience uh, Again, primarily on the sound and obviously a difference between 460 horsepower and 335. So we'll take a look at this, the GT, and give you an idea of the difference in sound. So, fuel economy, I'm averaging now 22.6. And as I said, it's got the different gauge modes. So here, you can actually switch to normal, to my mode, to sport plus. You see the dash changes there. And then you can actually go to track mode. The dash changes again. And you can go to drag strip mode and and then it does have the nice snow wet mode which reduces uh, your traction there to get you through if it's raining or if you happen to drive it in snow now one of the cool things is it's got these buttons here so this button here will show up and it'll change and it'll say exhaust mode so I can change it to say the track exhaust. Different from the quiet. So you can tell some differences there. So I'm going to put it back in sport mode. And again, so it's got your vacuum. It's got similar gauges. doesn't have a boost because it's naturally aspirated without the boost. 
let's take a look under the hood and we'll get that beep beep there it is annoying but I guess necessary and so there's your five liter I'm not a big fan of that engine cover I kind of like uh, seeing down in there but that is what it is um, and so you can hear the sound of the engine here so in terms of the back you can go back and see the last piece is the exhaust mode so you've got, you've got quad exhaust on each side and you've got dual exhaust on the EcoBoost so so there you go um, I think a good comparison I like them both very similar beautiful cars um, probably in the winter time or in January here there's no snow which is nice but you probably need something like a Subaru or an FJ to drive around in the winter or if it gets real bad just pull out the the John Deere Gator so hope you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in purchasing the EcoBoost if it's still available uh, send me a message and I'll get in touch with you thank you bye bye